Hello, my name is Dennis, and welcome to my Trailer Park White Trash Mobile Home Kitchen. I really do live in a mobile home, in a trailer park, and this is my kitchen. What I want to cook today is one of my favorite dishes, Chinese chicken and cashews. Now this food, like a lot of my foods, has a story that goes with it. Near where I used to work, there was a Chinese restaurant, and a bunch of us ate there often. We loved their food. It was inexpensive, and it was absolutely delicious. And one day I asked the owner if he would be willing to share with me the recipes for some of his sauces. I didn't think he would, but it was worth a try. And of course the answer was no. So one day when a bunch of us were going over there for lunch, I brought a little jar with me into the restaurant. And after I ate my chicken and cashews, I poured the sauce into the jar. And one of the friends who was with me said, you're taking that home to your laboratory, aren't you? Well, yeah. And I figured out how to make this sauce. So that's what I'm going to do today for my chicken and cashews. I'm going to show you the sauce that I made as well as go through the ingredients that I use for making this dish. For really beautiful Chinese food, you want to take the time to do all the prep work. This is a lot of work. Everything has to be cut just so, but it really makes for a beautiful dish. So what have I got here? For my sauce, I'm using 3 quarters of a cup, which is about 150 milliliters of hot water two teaspoons of chicken bouillon or other chicken flavoring, or if you like a heartier sauce, you can use beef bouillon, one tablespoon of sugar, one half tablespoon soy sauce, one teaspoon sesame oil, one and a half to two tablespoons of cornstarch. Depends on how thick you want your sauce. If you want to serve your chicken and cashews over rice and you want the sauce to drizzle down into the rice and flavor it, then use one and a half tablespoons. If you're going to have your rice on the side and you want your sauce to be thick and really cling to your vegetables and your meat, then use two tablespoons of cornstarch. And then salt to taste. I find that it doesn't need any salt. There's enough salt in the soy sauce and the cashews. And then as far as the ingredients for my vegetables and my meat, I'm using two tablespoons of peanut oil. You can use corn oil. Peanut oil is traditional. Two to four, depending upon size, cloves of garlic, finely chopped. I crushed, I'm going to crush mine with a garlic press. One quarter teaspoon minced fresh ginger. One pound, 500 grams, of boneless chicken breast meat. I'm using dark meat because I like the flavor of that better. This is cubed. One carrot that I've julienned, cut into about one inch, one and a half inch lengths. And this weighs about 70 grams. Three quarter cup of, or 60 grams, of small broccoli florette pieces. One quarter cup, or 30 grams, of peas. One small zucchini, about three ounces, or 90 grams, cubed. Three to four small mushrooms, two ounces, 60 grams, sliced or quartered. I found some really nice small brown mushrooms, so these quartered up nicely. One cup, which is two ounces or 60 grams of chopped Chinese cabbage. Sometimes you see this in the store as Napa cabbage. Five to six green onions, the green part only. That would be about three quarters of an ounce or 20 grams cut into one inch lengths. And then finally, one cup of cashew nuts. This is about 100 grams. You can use other vegetables if you like. If you want celery, you can put those in or bean sprouts. I'm using the vegetables that were used in the restaurant where I got the idea for this dish. So I've got my hot water here. The, hot, the water needs to be hot to dissolve that chicken bouillon. Then I'm going to add my sugar, my soy sauce, and my sesame oil, and stir that up. I'm not going to add my cornstarch yet because the, this is too hot and the, if, when the cornstarch goes in there with it really hot, it'll form lumps. So I'm going to let that cool a little bit and then I'll add the cornstarch, actually let it cool quite a bit. I'm going to add the cornstarch toward the end. And we got a jet going overhead. Life near the airport. I have my wok heating over medium, 
medium high heat. That's my peanut oil. Okay, I can just smell that, so that indicates that's good and warm. So I'm going to put my garlic in there. I'm going to use a spoon to get all this out. And my ginger. And I just want to cook this for a few seconds. So I don't want to brown that garlic. It'll brown quickly and then get bitter. Now my chicken goes in. You just want to cook this chicken until it's thoroughly cooked. You don't want to brown the chicken. If you get it just cooked, it'll be really tender. Okay, so my chicken is pretty much almost thoroughly cooked here. I did raise the heat too high once I put the chicken in. And then now that it's almost done, I raised the I lowered the heat down to kind of medium high. I want to save that juice that you see in there because that juice is going to help to flavor my dish. So now I've got a, a bowl ready. Using a spider. I'm going to remove my chicken and set it aside in a bowl. And then my carrots. And my broccoli florets are going to go in. And these are going to cook for about one minute. Okay, now I want to add my peas. mushrooms, and the zucchini. And again, cook for about one minute. If you find that the pan starts to go a little dry, you can have a little bit of water on the side and add that to it. Okay, this has been cooking for about a minute, so now I'm going to add my Napa cabbage and my green onions. And if you wanted to, you could even throw a cover on that. It would really steam that, but I don't want my vegetables cooked too much. So now again, I'm going to cook this for about a minute. I'm just about finished here. So here are my sauce, my sauce ingredients. I'm going to put my cornstarch in there, get that nicely mixed in, and then put that in there. And then bring this up to a boil. I have my heat on medium high. If that thickens a little bit too much, I can always add a little bit of water to it. I'm not going to add much though because I like my sauce. I'm not going to have this over rice, so I'm going to make sure my sauce is a little on the thick side. Okay, I'm going to turn my heat off. Put my chicken back in and add my cashews. Give that a good stir to coat everything well. And there it is. Chicken and cashews, all that prep work, but it takes only minutes to cook. 
This will easily serve probably six to eight people. More if you put a lot of rice and other things like egg rolls or whatever on the side. Now I want to taste this. Okay. Here is my chicken and cashews. That restaurant, by the way, closed. They lost their lease, so they closed. So now this is all I got to go on. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Just like the restaurants, I do make my sauce a little bit thicker. Their sauce was running. That's how I was able to pour some out of the bottom of the bowl into a jar. Mmm. Okay. Excuse me. I gotta go enjoy my lunch. For a printable PDF copy of this recipe with step-by-step -step photographs, visit the White Trash Cooking website and look on the home page or in the recipe archive.